Well, how's everybody doing? It's Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. So, happy delighted Thanksgiving, everybody. I was putting up videos here and there, but just, you know, I was making videos and it wasn't coming out right. So, I threw them all away and just got done editing them and didn't look right. So, kind of got to play catch up here. But, as you can see, I put a bigger transmission tunnel or a dry shaft tunnel in. Got that all mitered in and welded in, and that turned out really slick, actually. So that's done. I did have video of it, but like I said, it didn't turn out. I got some seats in here. I believe these came out of a minivan. I couldn't tell you which kind. Got them out of a boneyard. Uh, we're going to put those in the back seat. Going to have to make them a little bit narrower because they won't quite fit between the wheel wells. And I'm going to do a little bit more modifying and then make a framework to bolt them on. <clears throat> I got that big hole behind the seat there between the trunk and the driving apartment. I'm probably going to plate that off like I did on the 40. Kind of for a little bit more structure, but also for safety because I am putting a fuel cell in the back. And if it ever did get rear ended, you know, I don't want, you know, a big fireball coming all the way through. So, got that in the works. Might do that right now. Uh, but that's about all I got. I mean,. Front half, nothing's really changed up here yet. Got some welding to do on this dash. I might do that today too, I don't know. We'll see. Had to work today, so I ain't like I head off. My ambition's getting really low, so we'll see what we can get done. Stay tuned. Well, good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning. Uh, worked in the seats until I couldn't stand it last night, but I had a cut off. This was actually all the way to here, and then there was a support that came down and ran into this bar. Had to take that out so I can get the clearance I needed. This bump right here in the body, this, the frame is down there, so I really can't, you know, remove it. I can't make it go away, so it's there. I have to work around it. So taking that section of the seat frame out, now it gets me so I can get it tight up against the wheel well and it's back as far as I need it. So that worked out good. It just had a dimple in that part of the floor right there. It's just a clearance for the rear end. The old rear end was, you know, four times bigger than what I got in here now. And it just will never come up that high. So gradually dimpled it in so I can get the seat back another two inches. And that worked out good. Got the front framework made. I got bolts welded on. And then once the seat's welded to this, you're not going to be able to get to that bolt. But you can access the nuts. There's pockets underneath the floor here. From where the original seat would have sat. I don't know if that's going to show up. But that's where we're at. I got the box steel made, welded on. So now it's just a matter of getting it where I want it, weld it to my framework, drill the back holes, weld on some bolts on that so I can access the nuts from the floor underneath the car. And once the back seat's done, then it's onto that big hole. Well, lots to do today. Ready, guys, we're back. I got the seat frame made up for the rear seat. It's not pretty, but it's functional. And it bolts on right back here. Got the big holes drilled. It kind of lines up. Added another piece of angle iron right there to bridge that gap. I had to cut that out when I made the tunnel. So if you ever put that back. So that's where that's at. Now for that big hole. That's next. Okay, I got the rear plate cut. Get everything ground up and I got holes drilled here I'll plug weld where the angle brace came through in the original Buick I could do it up here too but I'm not that and there's a little bit of a ridge that sticks out here in that brace so I'll catch that ridge both sides got everything where I want it so now it's just a matter of welding it in that's what we're doing next Alrighty, she's welded in all the way around. A little tap in here and there to make it so it came closer, but for the most part, she fits just perfect. So, next step, I don't know, it's lunchtime, I'm hungry. But I think after that, we'll start playing with this dash again. We got a whole bunch of welding and grinding on that, so that's next up. Alright, so I threw the seat in real quick so you guys can see how that turned out. Not too bad. I'm happy considering but they uh, got the flip feature so you can adjust them 
I go back pretty far. And obviously I got the headrest. So I think that'll work. And they're kind of comfy, considering there's plenty of room. So I believe that'll work. Not that I'm a backseat kind of person, but somebody's going to be stuck back there. Yes, they are backwards. This seat should be over here, and this seat should be over here. If I, They would have been in a van, but with that mechanism there, I couldn't make that clear where that frame bump is. So I had to flip them, and then, like I said, I had to notch that frame out, and I could get it further over. So, yeah, it's this should have been over here originally, but to make them work, they're in the middle. Which I don't think is going to be a problem. Seat belts, they're not going to work, so I cut them out. I'll buy a couple of aftermarket ones and we'll make a mount for that in the floor and put those in secure. But that's the seat. And like I said, I got that rear plate welded in. So for the most part, that's one big thing off the list, which is cool. Alright, next project.